You know, one of the questions that we get a lot here at the museum from our visitors, from our school kids, is what the heck is this thing? And sometimes I ask school kids if they can figure it out, and usually they can't. You know what it is? It's the world's largest, say, fire hose or water cannon, and it was used for gold mining. It was used for what's called hydraulic mining. Hydraulic basically means with water. With this thing, I'm going to be looking at placer gold. Placer gold is gold that's all mixed up with sand and gravel and stuff up in the mountains and hasn't, as Mother Nature washes it out into the creeks and rivers. But I'm looking for gold that Mother Nature hasn't washed out, so I'm going to wash it out. I'm going to get hold of this thing, and if I stand here, you can really see how big it is. And this is called a monitor. It's called a monitor because that was the brand name. It's like calling a tissue a Kleenex because it's made by the Kleenex company. I am going to sh get water going through here. I'm going to pump water maybe to the top of the hill, have it run down the hill and through here. I'm going to blast it out at a hillside. I am going to blast it out at about 150 miles an hour. You don't want to be standing in front of it. And I'm going to blast a big cave into that hillside. The cave is going to fall down, and I've got a whole lot of rocks and gravel and sand, and I hope gold, and there's a lot of different ways I can use to get the gold out of there. These things were great at getting gold. They got millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of gold. Here they are in action. As you can see, they are really blasting out. There is a state park just east of here called Malakoff Diggins. It was the home of the North Bloomfield Mine, which had seven of these monitors going at any one time. They went 24 hours a day. At night, they had a big old lamp from a railroad engine. They blasted, you wouldn't believe what they blasted. They used one million gallons of water a day. And when they were done, this is what it looks like. It looked like the moon on a bad day. Absolutely ruined. Now imagine, if you are a deer and you're happily cruising around the hillside and tomorrow it looks like that, no place to hide, nothing to eat. Not only that, the leftover rock and gravel, which they called slickens, started washing down here into the rivers and lakes. And the lake, rivers got shallower and shallower. Not only could you not boat up river anymore, but the place started flooding even more than it used to do in the winter. So the people that liked mountains and the people that hated floods got together, went to a judge, and the judge said, hydraulic mining is illegal because it is so bad for the environment. Now, one other thing that people ask is, okay, that's a water cannon. What on earth is this? And people will guess, well, is it for, well, I see rocks in there. Is it for storing rocks? Is it for storing gold? You put the water in there? Is it a catapult? This is how you aim the monitor. That monitor weighs a ton. I am not gonna move it by hand. This works like a seesaw or teeter-totter. It's very simple. I fill it with rocks. That end will come up. I take all the rocks out. That end will come down. And that is all about hydraulic mining, one of the most effective and most environmentally damaging ways we got gold in the 19th century. Press the red button, Jared.